Look at Psalms 24 verse 1, that famous, famous passage in Psalms 24 verse 1. Look what it says. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to who? Him. Belong to him. Ladies and gentlemen, this powerful Davidic psalm makes it clear that everything and everyone on this planet belongs to God. This means nothing belongs to us. So if, watch this, y'all gotta, gotta look at this. If everything belongs to God, that means nothing belongs to us. Did y'all hear me? If everything belongs to God, then nothing belongs to us. I know you're looking at that house and that car and all that. Ladies and gentlemen, if anything can be taken away, you really don't own it. Oh my goodness. If anything can be taken away, you really don't own it. And, I, and I'm, everything that you're looking around tangible can be taken away. Your TV can be taken away. Your house can be taken away. Your car can be taken away. You really don't own it. You don't. You don't own it. Everything and everyone on this planet belongs to God. Now, we may use the things of the earth, but we don't own them. We, we may use the things of the earth, but we don't own them. That's powerful right there because this means because God is king, he has made himself responsible to fix whatever breaks down. Because he, he, he is king over everything, he, he rules everything, he's in charge of everything. If, because of that, whatever breaks down, he's responsible to fix. Why? Because it all belongs to him. Because it belongs to him, he has made itself, okay, y'all not, y'all not feeling me. Can I break this down to you? I've been on both sides of the track. I've been a renter and I've been an owner. I've been a renter and I've been an owner, right? I've been a renter, I've been an owner. What's the difference, ladies and gentlemen? When I was a renter, that means I rented from an owner, right? I rented from an owner. He was the landlord. I rented from him, right? And if anything broke down in my house, I just called the owner. Hey, the, the sink is overflowing. It, it just, I mean, one of the pipes busted. <laughs> the AC broke down. I just call, I remember those days. Lord, I never say I remember those days. Just if something broke down, I called the owner. That's when I rent, rent it. But when I became the owner, when I decided to own the house that I stayed in, if anything broke down, I was responsible for it. Did y'all see that? As a renter, I could go to the owner and say, hey, this is not working. And the owner said, yes, that's my responsibility because I own that place. It's my responsibility to fix it. But when I became the owner of my house, everything that broke down, I'm responsible. Y'all not hearing me. Kingdom, don't ever forget this point. I'm about to drop on you. Whatever you take ownership over, you take responsibility for. My goodness, I'm going to give myself an offering. Whatever you take ownership over, you take responsibility for. Ladies and gentlemen, if you try to own or run your own life, when something goes wrong, you are making yourself responsible for all repairs. Did y'all hear me? When you decide to do things on your own, to run your life the way you want it, to do things your way, ladies and gentlemen, when things go wrong, you are making yourself responsible for any and all repairs. But ladies and gentlemen, if God owns your life, when something goes wrong, he obligates himself to fix it. I wish I had five people in this chat today that will say, God run my life. Because when God is running your life, when he is Lord, when he is king, when he is sovereign in your life, ladies and gentlemen, he has obligated himself to fix it. Y'all not hearing me this morning. He has obligated himself to fix it. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but I'd rather be under God's ownership than mine. I'd rather have my life under God's rule and reign instead of mine. Because if the truth be told, every time I try to fix or repair something in my life, I only made matters worse, not better. When I tried to fix it, when I try to get myself involved and try to fix things and try to be my own owner and fix things, I only made matters worse. And some of us have made habits of putting spiritual band-aids 
on things in our lives that really need spiritual surgery. Did y'all hear me? We specialize in putting spiritual band-aids on things in our lives that really need spiritual surgery. And the only one that can do that type of operation in your life is God. You can't operate on yourself. Have you ever seen anybody go to the hospital and tell the doctor, no, 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 I got this. I'm going to operate on yourself. It's impossible. Ladies and gentlemen, only God can do the operation that needs to be done. Only God can fix your life. Only God. But you got to turn your life over to him, ladies and gentlemen. We got we to gotta make it our, our constant practice to get up every morning and turn our life over to him.